these two targets, and then you get the melons. It's a little entrance in here, bro. Jump to this. There's the bar. Very top of the headquarters. We're sliding on top of the map. Once you're up here, you see this. Yo, man, so today we got a little bit of a different video right here. Like, bro, look look what I'm doing, to be completely real. <laughs> My man, he's just gliding about. If you want to know how to do that, then definitely stay tuned within this video. But bro, I can't get over what's going on right now. I'm not going to lie. This is the weirdest start. I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of Easter eggs in the headquarters. Like, there's actually a lot of them, bro. Like, they actually filled this headquarters with loads of Easter eggs for us to find out. So, I know a lot of them, but I definitely don't know all of them. So, if you guys know some, let me know in the comments down below. And I might try them out for, like, another video and stuff. But I'm going to show you guys all the ones that I know. Now, this one... I I wouldn't really call this an easter egg i'm pretty sure this is like a little glitch but i doubt they'll end up fixing it but obviously before we do get into this before i show you guys how to do all these different things like i'll show you how to find the three balls on the map to get like a secret calling card i'll show you how to get on top of there i'll show you how to do a little easter egg in the fire range as well before we get into all of that definitely smash like button on this video real quick Yo, you guys have been killing the support recently again i really do appreciate it man so make sure you smash the like button let's see how many likes we can get also make sure you subscribe if you're new around here man if you enjoy world war 2 content if you enjoy my content then make sure you subscribe to the channel obviously man make sure you follow me on on Twitter as well at King Brothers. Go be active on there. Like on my tweets. You guys know what to do at this point, man. And yeah, make sure you spam KB in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to pin one of you guys so you can be right at the top. But hold up, let me let me stand up real quick. Let me stand up. Let me that's enough of the sliding. I'm gonna show you guys some Easter eggs in the headquarters. You can mess about with your friends, you know, confuse them. Like I know for a fact if you started sliding next to your friend, bro, he would be he'd be a little bit confused. First of all, let's start off with a sliding one. Now, a lot of people are probably confused as to what I was doing. I was legit just sliding on the ground. But basically, what you have to do, you have to have to sit a uh, gesture or emote, whatever it's called. So you can sit down like that. But what you have to do, you don't just sit down. You have to like, as soon as you're about to hit the ground, legit, as soon as you close to hit the ground, hit crouch and move forward. You don't get it first time every time. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I'm messing up right now. Hold up. Sit. Okay. Like for me, it's sit, circle and move forward. But you have to do like, you have to do it just as you're about to hit the ground. Wait. There we go, there we go, we got it. Again, you have to sit. I've got sitters down on the D-pad. It makes it a lot easier. Then you have to circle or be on Xbox. As soon as you're about to touch the ground and instantly move forward with your analog stick. Now, the only little problem with this is that if you let go of the analog stick right now, once you're doing this, you will like stop and you won't be able to move again. So you just have to keep your analog stick, your left analog stick active so you don't end up stopping. Make sure you don't sprint whilst you're doing it as well, because that will not work whatsoever. You just have to move forward to do it. And this and this is, I mean, I guess these are pretty cool. Like, what the hell is this? But yeah, you can do this one with your friends, they'll probably be mad confused not gonna lie like just sliding about like this it's like go karts man like you can literally you can literally have a little race around the whole headquarters see so you win but yeah that's this one let's do this one more time see if we can do it there we go look it's easy once you get used to it it does get pretty easy in fact the next one i'm gonna show you is this one because i really don't know about this one too much not gonna lie basically there's an order that you can hit certain targets and then melons literally just fly out it's it's weird as hell it's weird as hell it's a little easter egg though it's best with an lmg because you're supposed to do it as quick as possible in fact right, we got an lmg on right here you have to do the targets in a certain order so let me show you guys there's this order right here, bang, and shoot all these up, and then these three, and then these two targets, and then you get the melons. Like, what the hell is that? Bruh. It's so weird, bro. I don't get it. You get loads of melons just flying out. It's confusing. I don't get why it's melons. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below, but you can reset the targets like that. It doesn't matter if you miss a bullet or anything like that, but it's basically these three targets, the furthest ones, then these three closest to you. And then you have to hit the one going up like this. Then it's the three at the back right there. And then the two targets pop up. It doesn't matter which ones you shoot first, I'm not gonna lie. And then they fly out. Like the melons fly. It makes no sense. The melons come from like there, which I don't get. But that's the sequence. Now I know for a fact there is another sequence. So if you guys know it, let me know in the comments down below. Don't know how you'll do that, to be honest. But, but yeah, I guess that's pretty cool. But the next ones I'm about to show you, man, it's the three balls that you can find in headquarters. Now, if you don't know if that's totally confusing to you, this I think it's three grid iron balls, which are basically like the uplink of this game. I'm pretty sure that's what they are. But it's three of them around the map and if you find them you do get a secret calling card which is pretty cool i know a lot of people know about this but a lot of people still don't know about this as well so and one of the balls actually leads you to an easter egg another easter egg in the map so i'll show you guys that definitely but the first one is right here so you have to hop on this pole right here jump to the corner and you can see that ball on the ground you pick that up and now you've got one of them you got one of three now i've already done it obviously so nothing's gonna pop up for me but something should pop up for you i think it will say like one of three found or something like that but you can legit throw it up in the air catch it as well can we catch this oh 
Oh, that was great. You can legit like throw it to friends and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like you can, it, I don't know. It's, I don't know why you put this in the game, but I guess it's pretty sick. Now these two others, as I said, the second one leads you to a little Easter egg, which I will show you guys. Let's do the most difficult one first. You don't have to hold them all at the same time or anything like that. I can literally just drop this one and get the next one. Hold up. Let's drop that there. And the next one is up this tower. Now I made the mistake of going into this thing and I can climb the ladder, the score street training, but now nah, don't do that. Especially if you were friends, because this banishes you from the lobby. Don't, don't be doing that. You can actually climb up all the way to the top and then the balls in there now if you're wondering how you climb oh hello if you're wondering how you climb up to the top you literally have to like just jump on all these things which it's a little bit difficult i'm not even gonna lie to you man this one's probably the most difficult of all of them like, i'm probably gonna be here for a while trying to do it but just watch what i do man it's hard to explain so you jump on this one right here kind of cr oh, okay i don't get how people find these things out man that's what confuses me but you have to jump on this hold up jump on this one as well and you see that silver hook that's sticking out right there you have to get on this and go far to the outside as possible there we go so you don't hit like those cross ones to jump to this nope there we go. All right, we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. So you're on this one right here. You're on this little little hook that you guys can see, kind of. And then you have to jump to that next. You see that horizontal-ish diagonal like, stick right there, just like the one we just jumped off of. You have to jump to that one. Okay, we just totally missed it. All right, I'll jump to this. Okay, we're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Okay, and then you see there's another hook right there. You have to jump. Oh wait. You have to go to the outside a little bit. Jump on the hook. Jump on this. All right, we're up. Now, I made the mistake last time of walking all the way around to go through, like, the main entrance. But you can legit... <gasps> Let me not talk. Now, if you get on this little ledge, you can legit just climb over. But there's the ball. There's the second ball of the three. Man, it's difficult to get up here. Once you get used to it, you might find it a little bit easier. But, man, we got it. We got the second ball. I don't know where we threw the other one. No, that doesn't even matter. Sat the other one. So, now we got this one here. And we got the one at the very start. But now, we need to get the third one. Now, the third one actually leads you to, like, two Easter eggs, first of all. You can literally, let's get over here real quick. You can literally get on top of the headquarters, which will confuse a lot of people. Best believe that. Once you fix that, best believe a lot of people will be trying to get up there. And it's a little... Little Easter egg up there as well. So let's go around here real quick. We're taking the ball with us. I have to go into the theater over here. First of all, I just want to, uh, man, Sledgehammer have done such a good job with this, to be honest. Like adding little Easter eggs into the headquarters is just pretty sick. It's a good idea. I just find it crazy that people actually find these things, but you have to get up on here. This usually takes me a while, but you have to jump onto that part. So you get used to it. Oh, oh, we're up. Okay, I'll take that. You have to jump like across onto this little ledge right here that I just jumped on, and then you jump up. And once you get on here, you have to jump over this fool's head onto that pill. <gasps> oh, bro, I almost jumped over. You jump onto this, and you jump onto this little ledge. And now you're a little bit high up. I guess you can't just climb up from there or anything like that. I wish you could. You see that pipe right there, like the 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 vent. You have to jump onto that. Now the mistake I always make is like aiming straight for it like that, but I feel like you have to aim a little bit to the left. And then you're good. Look at that. You get a little running start. You jump onto this thing. I can't believe I'm doing it first time. I'm not going to lie. Usually it takes me so many attempts. Do a little metal bar that's sticking out. You jump onto that. Walk all the way across. And now you can jump up here. Now we're up here. We're on the headquarters, which is pretty cool. But this is not the highest point whatsoever, man. You can keep going. So what you want to do, you want to get onto this little bit and go all the way around like this. Now you're going all the way around the headquarters. You started off there in the theater and then you went on that wall. Walked all the way over. And now you end up over here. So you walk around. Like at first, people thought this was like a a glitch and he didn't want you to be able to do this but in fact nah they planned this perfectly just made it look like it wasn't supposed to happen which is pretty cool like, it was not obvious whatsoever but you can keep walking all the way around you can keep walking all the way around so you can see the front again but now it's a little entrance in here bro there's a little entrance in here and obviously there's a ball bro there's a ball right there as you guys can see so let's throw this one sat that one pick up that one and once you picked up the third ball man you should get a little achievement it will say that you found all three balls in the headquarters which is pretty cool but right here we got a third ball which is cool so there's all the three balls that you can find in the headquarters again that'll get you a little achievement there we go baller find three hidden balls in headquarters so you're okay now you got the third ball that's one easter egg complete then we did the firing range one which is another one we did like the little the little sliding one as well a little go kart one but it's also another one now obviously there's a little easter egg right here you can get to the very top of the headquarters which is sick like just look at that view bro look how crazy that is like you're on top especially if there was loads of people in here man they would be looking like what the hell is this fool doing you're on top of the whole headquarters and that's another easter egg but one big easter egg that you find from doing all of this man is the fact that once you're up here you see this now this might just look like nothing to you guys but what that is that's a sledgehammer man now if you don't know who made this game sledgehammer made this game so he clearly put this up here on purpose you know as a little as a little like shout out to themselves a little easter egg again sledgehammer they asked 
Sledgehammer, Hammer, and that's a Sledge Hammer that you just put down on the top. Bruh. It was actually something like this on Black Ops 2, I believe, in one of the missions. You had to go like underneath a cave. There are all the Easter eggs that I do know within their headquarters. I know for a fact there's another one in the firing range that I don't know. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comments down below what other Easter eggs you guys know about in the headquarters. There we go. Alright, we got it. We're sliding on top of the map. Come on, bro. I'm it one more time with the ball in my hand as well. Hold up. Let's try this. Oh, oh, no way we can do it first time. Oh, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Oh my god, no way we just did that first time. Bro, I can't believe that. In fact, in fact, there's another Easter egg. There's another Easter egg that I know about. You can't die in the headquarters. We have to run and then fall as far as possible, I believe. Wait. There we go. Fall 38 feet in headquarters. That's the one I was talking about.